Being a part of the Honor Guard is a humbling experience because it gives me the opportunity to personally pay tribute to our fallen and keep their memories with us. For me, it is a sense of duty. The duty to serve my department with the highest level of commitment. Being a part of the Honor Guard provides us the opportunity to celebrate and show up for our partners. Regardless of whether it's one of ours or someone across the country we never met, they're all our family. So just up above you here in these hills, that will now be Mount McKay. He used to work here. He would come here and play his bagpipes and everybody could hear him. The best thing that we can possibly do is to always know that their lives mattered and your lives matter. We stand to honor those no longer with us with reverence and respect. Being able to put this uniform on, represent our department, and go out there and present our nation's flag with other members of my department is no greater feeling than that. Honor Guard gives me the opportunity to be a selfless servant representing those law enforcement officers in the past, present, and the future. We're driving out to the town of Yucca Valley. It's the two-year anniversary for Sergeant Dominic Baca, he's killed in the line of duty. The Sheriff's Honor Guard was requested to present the colors for a unveiling of a plaque we always remember their families. And the way we honor them is remember we go out and we do a good job, we do it professionally, and we do it to the way that they would expect. We take a great sense of pride in what we do. You were called to this profession, so make it count. We do events like this, but what about afterwards? What about moving forward? I think it'd be a great idea that we go around and track where all the monuments are located so other folks can understand what the monuments are all about and why we do what we do. Today we're going to be heading across the county visiting memorials for all of our fallen deputies. Our first stop is going to be up the Cajon Pass visiting a memorial for Sheriff's Lieutenant Alfred Stewart. A freeway sign, you know, people drive past it all the time and, and we see it and we actually take the time to, to understand why that sign is actually there and, and what the reminder is. Just like on the truck, we have all those names memorialized. It's a reminder to us why we do what we do. My father, Lieutenant Alfred E. Stewart, was a dedicated sheriff. He had a lot of people that loved him and never heard a criticizing word about him. I wish I had him back, and I don't. And the sign is just a reminder how dangerous his job was. I didn't realize how many memorials there actually are. There's Deputy Russell Roberts and Needles, and Deputy Frank Pribble on Interstate 10. There's even a bench for Deputy Danny Lobo Jr. on Arrow Route. I believe it's at the site where his accident actually happened. Not far from there is a highway sign for Deputies Ron Ives and Danny Lobo Jr. Ron was just a, a kind and caring guy, and he became a mentor of mine. And he was one of those guys that would give you the shirt off his back. He was out there trying to help everybody. He was just, man, I know he meant a lot to a lot of people. And Detective Jeremiah McKay currently has three memorials. A memorial highway, a street named after him in Yukaipa, and a statue named after him in Lake Arrowhead. In Yucca Valley, there's a wooden cross for Sergeant Dominic Vaca, and Deputy Greg Garapi has a metal cross at the Morongo Station along with a memorial highway dedicated to him. There's the Frank Bland Memorial at Sheriff's Headquarters and the Sheriff's Memorial at the Academy with all the names of our fallen deputies on it. When you're out there and you're going to an emergency call, are you gonna let your partner go to that call by themselves? Sure, no, sir. What do we call that? Sir, back up, sir. Back up, you're rolling somebody at back, right? folks on this wall that have passed away in the line of duty, do you think that they're still rolling you aback today? How are they doing that? By the lessons we learn from their stories? By the lessons we learn from their stories. And the way we honor them is remember we go out and we do a good job, we do it professionally, and we do it to the way that they would expect. In 
then finally, there is a new memorial currently being built on a hill overlooking the academy. Several months ago, there was a sign that was constructed. And the frame itself weighs anywhere between 850 to 900 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. This is a separate panel. That's a separate panel. This week is going to be the week that it's finally going to get to where it's going to go. So just up above you here in these hills, that will now be Mount McKay. That sign will forever be up there. All this frame is one big piece. Honestly, you can just need that. Dude, it's tough to look at things like this and you know a sign that'll be up there, but it's it means a lot to all of us and it should mean a lot to you. Even if you don't know about him, you know, we can tell you stories and stories, but just don't forget kind of where you come from. Watch your heads. The panels are off. Yeah, panels are off. Yeah, they're, so they're just laying on top of them right Two now. Two more, yeah, please. Okay. So that, it'll be just the frame itself. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. Because we still have to auger the holes and get the concrete okay. and everything up there. So we're going to do that uh, beginning of next week. Hey. This is going to be the largest sign that we have on this facility because it's, he's such a, a, a large personality. The fact that he would come here and play his bagpipes and everybody can hear him. Now they're going to not only be able to hear him, but they're also going to be able to see him up there. This is finally the day that we're going to get the, the crew up here and dig some, dig some holes and dig some dirt and get this thing upright. So it's, uh, it's coming together. Yeah. Goes forever and ever. The fact that we're able to give back to him and, and dedicate this monument to him and his family, it just means more than I'll ever be able to express. What started as just a conversation is now becoming a reality. So right now we're out in Yucca Valley and we're looking for this monument cross that's dedicated to fallen deputy Greg Garropy. Uh, we're able to get a contact for Garropy's partner and friend, retired deputy Marilee Brown. Marilee, hi, this is John Krasanek. I work at uh, Sheriff Public Affairs. So what you need to do is you need to be closer to the high, to 247. So looks like we're getting close. I arrived on scene with two gentlemen waving me down. I can see that it's a Yucca unit. I know that it's Greg at that time. I get there, he looks pristine. Um, I start CPR on him. Come to find out later that he had hit that Joshua tree that he was next to, and he had, was already had passed by that time. This is the monument, this is actually the, the crash site. I was kind of in a fog for a couple weeks. I didn't go back to patrol right away. I was devastated. Out of the blue, my husband and Frank Barber, who is a reserve deputy, they built this cross memorial for Greg. We dug a hole, we did the concrete, we put the sign in there, and of course the whole time I'm crying. You know, to me it was, they were honoring him. He was a good man. He was a good man and he died way too soon. I just wanted to thank all of you guys for coming. This is the biggest sign that they've ever had at this academy. And this will forever just keep his, his legacy going. To know that Jer's here just looking down upon the academy and all of the new recruits coming in and all of his friends, it's just so amazing. I think it's a great place for the kids and I to be able to come and remember him. My favorite part of the sign is that it overlooks the entire academy. 10 years ago this year, I decided to be part of the honor guard and it was because of Jeremiah. Ever since then, I've been humbled to be able to pay tribute not only to Jeremiah, but to all of our fallen officers. I wanted to be a role model, and I wanted to be a part of something bigger than who I was. The sign is, is a good reminder why their names are on that sign. There's a reason why their names on that sign. They gave their life. It keeps the memory going and just people from now on like know who he is. It's an honor to be a part of, to pay tribute to our fallen and keep their memories with us. To celebrate and show up for our partners. And I hope that I do well enough for his family. Committed to honoring those serving. In the past, present, and the future. With reverence and respect. These were courageous men and women who entered this career to protect those who cannot protect themselves.